Hello, I'm Kelvin LaDuc, and this is how to create a play blast. I have my Maya scene open, and the most difficult way is to go up to the Maya Windows menu here and then go about uh, three quarters of the way down here to play blast. What I do instead is I right click down here on my timeline, and the bottom option is play blast. Then I go into the option box, and I want to check what it's set to. Uh, format, you don't want it set to AVI, that's going to create very heavy file sizes and your movies will play slower. So use the drop down menu to change that to QT. That stands for QuickTime and you must have QuickTime already installed in order to see QT show up. Your encoding, uh, we find the best option is, you know, scroll up or down till you get to H264. Quality, that's your choice. Definitely, if you're a student submitting an assignment, a movie, I would go all the way up to 100%. But when you're working on your own test scenes, you can use something between, you know, 60, 70, 80%. Display size, I'm going to change that to custom. I want to be working with a high definition aspect ratio. So that's going to be 16 by 9. And uh, we can make that in pixels 720 by 405. So let me type that in. So it'll be about, you know, half the screen size. And scale, I'm putting that to 100%. So that's going to be one. Padding, you can leave that at three or four. Now you have two options for the way that it saves. Uh, the first one here is remove temporary file. That means it's going to make your Play Blast movie. And as soon as you're finished looking at it and you close it, it deletes it. The other option here is save to file. Uh, that requires you to browse and see where it's going to be saving. So mine, I already have a project, Maya Projects Default Movies, and that's where it's going to save it. I could also aim it at a different location. My documents under T, test animation, movies folder there. And I'm going to give the file a name. So this is a Dana head turn. So a good name is, you know, is it zero ones when you start and then two and three. You always use a good naming convention. It makes it easier to find the files that you've created. So now I can hit play blast and it will create my play blast. It's a very short scene. And it opened it up with the VLC play by default. So I'm going to go and change that. I'm going to go and look. If I right click on it, then I can go to open with and choose which option you know, to always open. Right here, click this box for always open. And I want it to be QuickTime Player. QuickTime Players are great for viewing animation because you can single frame through your animation. Right, that's the size I wanted it at. And now I can use my arrows to go backwards and forwards through my animation. So that's how you create a play blast. Thanks for watching.